cutoff levels are used to determine whether to immediately report a negative drug test result after an initial screening or to send the specimen on to the laboratory for further confirmation testing. A higher cutoff level in the screening process may cast a wider net to find the drug class being tested. The confirmation test is then used as the definitive testing process to determine a positive result. A screening result commonly indicates that a class of drugs is positive, not necessarily which specific drug triggered the positive result. Confirmation testing is necessary because a false positive can occur when the screening phase is positive but the drug is not actually present. A false negative can occur when the drug is actually present, but the screening result is negative. In order to determine if a urine specimen is negative or positive for drugs of abuse, all specimens go through a screening procedure, and then if initial results are above the screening cutoff levels, that specimen is then flagged for confirmation testing. The second round of testing, called confirmation testing, uses gas chromatography, gas chromatography mass spectrometry, or liquid chromatography mass spectrometry mass spectrometry. The subsequent confirmatory procedures are performed on a second independent portion of the original urine specimen. Specimens that test above the confirmation cutoff levels are reported by the lab as positive. And at this point, you may be thinking, so who determines the cutoff levels for drug testing? And that's a great question. So let's touch on that for just a moment. 